Greetings, welcome to our program. This is English Digest, and I'm Tom. And I'm Stephanie. It's our TOEIC unit. Yep. And、uh, today, of course, we're going to be talking about computers, more specifically, laptop computers.、Mm. And I bet you didn't know there's such a thing as laptop insurance. I did not know there was such a thing. I don't really use a laptop computer myself, but if I did use a laptop computer, I might consider buying laptop insurance. <laughs> Uh, I only use laptops. I've only bought laptops for the past, I would say, eighteen years.、Uh, they're just easy to get around, carry around. Sometimes I had to take them outside of my home, but I also don't buy the expensive kinds. So I know I have friends who buy the the Mac laptops, which are very expensive.、Mm. Um, I tend to buy a new laptop every year or year and a half because. By the time a year and a half is over, I've done something to it. It's either got a virus, or I've broken something, or I spilled pop on the keyboard. You name it. So we're going to talk about insurance. I just didn't think buying the insurance was worth it because I really wasn't spending very much on my laptop anyway, and I knew I'd be getting a new one. Pretty soon. I wonder if there's such a thing called PC insurance or insurance for your、Ooh. smartphone. You never know. But、uh, today we are going to be learning about laptop insurance, and we have a conversation between Winnie and Bobby. And Bobby's laptop computer was recently stolen, so he's in the market for a new one.、Uh, let's find out what this is all about. Let's listen to the conversation now, and we'll be right back to talk about it. Welcome to Ernie's Electronics. Do you require assistance with anything in particular today? Yes, I certainly do. My laptop was recently stolen from the laboratory where I work, and I'm contemplating purchasing a new one. Well, you've come to the right place. We actually have a fifty percent discount on this new model for a limited time. In addition. We can insure your new laptop against any unfortunate accidents you may have in the future. Wow, that's a phenomenal price for the laptop. I'm unfamiliar with laptop insurance, though. Can you elaborate on that? Sure. This insurance protects your laptop against unforeseen accidents and reduces or eliminates most maintenance costs. The coverage includes incidents like liquid spills. Battery damage and theft. You can even bring in a cracked screen, and we'll replace it for a fraction of the normal cost. That's delightful, but I bet this insurance plan is extremely expensive. What's the cost? The price is actually quite reasonable. It's merely five hundred NT dollars each month, but if you commit to one year of insurance and pay up front, you'll get a ten percent discount. That's quite a bargain. Let me think about it and get back to you. Okay, just don't take too long to consider the offer. I'd hate to see you miss out on this fantastic deal. Thanks. I'll think about it and come back once I've made up my mind. Now, just in case you didn't understand a lot of things in that conversation, that's what we're here for. We're going to explain things to you now. So, in today's lesson, we are learning about laptop insurance, and Bobby's in the market for a new laptop computer,、mm. but、uh, he's also going to learn about something called laptop insurance. And since I've never owned a laptop computer myself, I don't know what this is, and it's educational for me today.、Uh, and we'll talk about it as we continue. With our lesson, so when he begins the conversation, I guess Bobby has entered this store,、mm. and she says, "Welcome to Ernie's Electronics. Do you require assistance with anything in particular today?" That's one way you could greet a customer. That's actually quite long and kind of complicated. What you most likely will hear is,、uh, "Can I help you? What can I do for you today?" Something like that. How can I help you? So yeah, it's a, a very formal.、Uh, Inquiry, I guess. But she works at this electronics store that obviously sells computers. So Bobby says, "Yes, I certainly do," because he does have something in particular he wants to buy. He says, "My laptop was recently stolen from the laboratory where I work." 
Mm, usually, labs are highly secure, right? And there are a lot of locks, and you have to have a badge and ID to get in. I wonder who took his laptop.、Um, and he says here, I'm contemplating purchasing a new one. If you contemplate something, you think about something.、Uh, you could contemplate life. Uh, your current job, whether you want to do something else,、uh, whether you want to、um, maybe move to a different city or state or country, you contemplate those things. And he's thinking about purchasing a new one. It sounds like he definitely needs a new computer. Okay, so it was stolen. Someone stole his laptop from his laboratory. Terrible.、Uh, maybe an assistant、uh, thought it would be、uh, real easy to steal his computer or something. Maybe the janitor did it. Who knows? But、uh, he's out of a computer. Hopefully, his files have been backed up somewhere on the cloud or. On an external hard drive or something like that. Yeah. And when he says, "Well, you've come to the right place,"、uh, that's often what they might say as well, because indeed that's what they specialize in. Hey, you've come to the right place. You've made the right decision by coming to Ernie's Electronics. And she goes on to say, "We actually have a fifty percent discount on this new model for a limited time." Okay, that's half off a fifty percent discount, and I don't know what the original price is, so I can't tell you if fifty percent off is a good deal. But still, it sounds like a good deal, especially if it's half price. That's right. You know what?、Uh, we should probably talk about insurance for a minute.、Mm. It's one of our vocabulary words, and it just means an arrangement you make with a company, an insurance company,、uh, where you pay them money regularly, usually, unless you have a, a yearly premium.、Uh, you pay them money, and they pay the cost if something bad happens. For example, if you get ill. Uh, your health insurance will pay for you to have the treatment that you need, or maybe your car、uh, has an accident, or you have an accident. The car can't just get in an accident by itself.、Um, you usually have car insurance that will pay for damages to your car and maybe to the other person's car that was involved. So that's how insurance works. It's uncountable, so don't say insurances. That would be wrong, guys. Right, and sometimes you may hear someone say insurance with the accent on the first syllable, but most people say insurance. I'd like to buy some fire insurance for my、mm-hmm. house, for example, or、uh, life insurance、uh, is a way to you know save for your future.、True. There are various types of insurance out there、mm-hmm. that you could consider buying. And again, Winnie says they have a fifty percent discount on a new model, but it's only for a limited time. Act now, or it will be too late. And And she goes on to say, in addition, we can insure your new laptop against any unfortunate accidents you may have in the future. So, insurance is the noun, and the verb would be to insure. You buy insurance to insure something. And you can also pronounce that insure. So you'll hear Americans say insure or insure.、Uh, they're both correct.、Uh, we sometimes have a lot of different ways to pronounce words.、Uh, just pick the one that you're comfortable with and stick. With it, Bobby says, "Wow, that's a phenomenal price.、Uh, if something's phenomenal, it's amazing. It's super spectacular. That would be a really good price if you got a fifty percent discount. So again, if you elaborate on something, you just give somebody more details. Usually, somebody wants more information, and so if you say something and they they'll say, 'Oh, can you elaborate on that?' Then you go ahead and give them more details so they know what you're talking." About it's something you hear a lot, especially if you're giving a presentation、uh, to a, a business group or in a business meeting. Hey, can you elaborate on that point? I don't quite understand what you mean. Right? Can you give me some elaboration? For example, give me more details about this laptop computer, especially in regard to the insurance.、Uh, yeah, how can I insure my computer so that it doesn't get stolen in the future? Well, if it does get stolen, I can get money back, so I can get a new one. I suppose that's what the insurance uh, should uh, provide. And when he says sure, and she goes on to elaborate about this insurance policy, she、mm-hmm. says this insurance. 
insurance protects your laptop against unforeseen accidents and reduces or eliminates most maintenance costs. So these are some of the features of this insurance policy.、Mm -hmm. It will protect your laptop against unforeseen accidents. If something's unforeseen, you don't know it's going to happen. You never know if you're in the laboratory working on your laptop and suddenly a beaker falls off of the shelf and it damages your keyboard. If that happens, then the insurance will give you money to repair your computer. Or if you're like me, you're eating dinner、uh, in front of your laptop, and your can of soda pop just kind of spills onto the keyboard. That would be an unforeseen accident, and that costs a lot of money to replace. So don't do that. That actually ruined my computer completely.、Oh, so no. yeah, you can reduce or eliminate most maintenance costs. Maintenance is when you're.、Uh, Taking care of something, you maintain it so it stays in pretty good condition. You、uh, will want to maintain your your car, for example. Put some oil in it, check the tires, make sure everything's okay. So it's the repairs.、Uh, maybe you have maintenance costs、uh, at your building or apartment where you want to pay for some new、uh, furniture, some painting, anything that's necessary to keep something in good condition. Con conditions would include maintenance costs. Now, coverage is just what、uh, protection the insurance company gives you. That's what they're offering you. And I told Tom before we started. I, I found out that the British don't use coverage; they use cover, so healthcare cover, which is different from uh, American uh, phraseology. We use coverage. So yeah, you need to check and see what exactly your insurance policy covers. What coverage? It contains. Not all of them are the same. So she says here, you can even bring in a cracked screen. That's your monitor、uh, on a laptop. It's connected to your computer, and she says we'll replace it for a fraction of the normal cost. A fraction, of course, is a division of a larger number.、Uh, for example, one half, one third, one quarter, etc. Those are fractions, and sometimes this does happen because with a laptop computer, you're carrying. Carrying it around,、mm -hmm. and there's the possibility that you might drop it or drop something on it, and that could damage the screen. And you will crack the screen.、Uh, this often happens to smartphones as well. Sometimes we drop our phones, and we crack the screen. Crack there is a verb. So if it's cracked, that means it has a crack in it, or more than one crack. Per、mm -hmm. Perhaps you might have a cracked windshield in your car, for example, if、uh, you were driving in the country and a Bird flew into your window, and you cracked your windshield. So again, that's one thing that will be replaced for a small price. It will be for a fraction of the normal cost. So if you wanted to replace the screen, maybe it's going to cost you I don't know ten thousand NT dollars or something like that.、Uh, if you have this insurance, then they'll replace it for a fraction of that cost, maybe two or three thousand NT dollars. Yeah, and if you have insurance on it, or if you're still under warranty, you、uh, your computer's fairly new, you could get away with not paying very much at all. So, Bobby thinks uh, that's uh, quite reasonable. It's a bargain, he says. So he says、uh, right here, that's delightful. But I bet this insurance plan is extremely expensive. Yet the more coverage that your policy offers, we call it an insurance policy. The more coverage that it it contains, the more expensive it is. That's just how life is. So he wants to know how much it costs. So when he breaks down the cost, she says the price is actually quite reasonable. It's not too much. It's merely, and merely here just means. Only it's not very much. It's merely five hundred NT dollars each month. But if you commit to one year of insurance and pay up front, if you pay in advance, you're paying up front. You'll get a ten percent discount. I think it's still kind of expensive, Tom. Okay, yeah, like I said, I've never had a laptop or computer before, so I don't know if this is worth it or not. But yes, if you agree to this promise here of committing to one year, well, then you will get a ten percent discount. So do your addition. What's twelve times five hundred, and then、uh, take ten percent off of that, and that will be the price for one year of laptop insurance. Now, here's what Bobby says. Hmm, that's quite a bargain. Let me think about it and get back to you. So. 
here, bargain can be both a verb and a noun. Here, it's being used as a noun. It just refers to a good price. It's a reasonable price. It's a good discount.、Uh, you can say that if you feel like you got a good deal on something. Oh, that's quite a bargain. It's really worth the price. I only had to pay this much money for such a great product. So indeed, it was quite a bargain. And of course, also as I said, bargain can be used as a verb.、Uh, for example, if you're traveling sometimes and you want to buy, oh, I don't know, maybe some article of clothing or something,、mm-hmm. a sweater,、yeah. and the vendor says it's going to cost you one hundred U.S. dollars. Oh, that's too expensive. So you'll have to bargain for a lower price. I'll give you fifty dollars for it. Oh, that's too low. How about ninety-five? Oh, that's too high. So you're bargaining back and forth. Some people really like to do that.、Uh, you can also call this、um, this action, I guess, between two people, a buyer and a seller. You can say they're haggling over a price. H a g g l e haggle to haggle to bargain.、Uh, sometimes you'll hear, "Oh, we're." We're selling things at a bargain basement price, so it's the lowest you could possibly imagine. So yeah, if you're looking for some bargains, you're sure to find them around here. That's for sure. But Bobby comes back and says, "Yeah, that's quite a bargain." He thinks it's a good deal, so he wants to think about it and then get back to her. Of course, Winnie's a good salesperson. She says, "Okay, just don't take too long to consider the offer." I'd hate to see you miss out on this fantastic deal. If you miss out on something, you miss an opportunity. You let an opportunity pass you by. And usually, with these good sales deals and、uh, you know discounts, they don't last forever. There's usually a, a period of time where things are on sale, so you want to make sure you get that、uh, discount. At least if you're going to buy the computer, I think he's、uh, still probably wanting to look around. But、uh, they also might say, "Act now!、Uh, you know, supplies are limited, so if you don't act now, you might miss out. Yeah. So indeed, you better take advantage of this bargain. That's what Winnie appears to be doing. But Bobby is a smart shopper,、mm. and he says, "Well, you're not going to rush me. You're not going to force me to make a purchase that I'm not certain about." He says. I'll think about it and come back once I've made up my mind. So he's willing to risk the the possibility of the insurance deal、uh, no longer being valid if he waits too long.、Mm-hmm. Uh, he just wants to think about it. Sometimes you do have to learn how to handle yourself with salespeople because hey, they want to make a sale and、uh, they try to、uh, get you to say yes even though you don't really want to. Yeah,、so、they put、careful. pressure on you, right?、Mm. Put too much pressure on you. I do not enjoy those kinds of. Salespeople, so I walk away. I say thank you, goodbye.、Um, yeah, don't let him pressure you, you in, pressure you into anything, but、uh, don't miss out on the bargain either. Right now, we're going to listen to our Chinese teacher for a bit, and then we're going to return and talk about something we're calling discourse markers. Don't be afraid; it just sounds kind of technical, kind of hard, but it's not. Hello, everyone. 我是派老师。今天讲解的是 Unit Three。Learning about laptop insurance. 这一课是多义单元。第一天课程呈现的是关于电脑保固的部分。我相信多数听众平常都会使用电脑完成作业、工作，但不晓得大家有没有电脑故障的经验。如果有，应该都体会过维修费用造成的揪心的痛。不过，有些电脑在出售的时候。还有另外加购的保固方案，和今天的课程内容有点类似，有点类似买保险的概念。花一点钱，万一电脑真的出事了，维修费用会低很多，甚至于免费替换零件。Without further ado， 我们一起看看今日课程内容的学习重点。一开头 ，Winnie 就先问了客人 Bobby， 他说。Do you require assistance with anything in particular today? 好，请同学注意到，这是在问客人说需不需要协助啊 ？Assistance with 什么事情？你需要哪方面的协助？好，那客人 Bobby 就明确的指出来，他到底想做什么 ？I'm contemplating purchasing a new one. 好，那这里的 contemplating 要请同学特别注意，其实呢就是 consider。Think about. 我正在想，在考虑要买一台新的电脑。那 Winnie 
这个店员，哎，他很会做生意哦。他就说 ，Well, you've come to the right place. 好，请同学呢可以把这句话学起来。虽然是很简单的英文，可是如果我们是在服务业，客人听到这句话就会觉得，哎，我真的来对地方了。You've come to the right place. 那紧接着呢，他就告诉客人 ，Bobby 说，为什么？来对地方，因为现在店里头呢是有一些优惠方案的。原来这里有一个新的机型，它呢是有折扣优惠的 ，a fifty percent discount。不过 for a limited time， 但是它是限期的优惠。好，再接着往下，除了。机器本身、电脑本身有优惠以外，还另外提供。We can insure your new laptop against any unfortunate accidents you may have in the future. 好，原来啊，这里的 insure， 请同学画起来，要特别注意。这个就是呢，帮自己的新电脑买保险，那以免呢，将来发生 unfortunate accidents。好，那紧接着后面呢？当然，这个 Bobby 他就觉得啊，这个优价格太优惠、太诱人了。店员 Winnie 看到 Bobby 有点心动啊，他接着说 ：“This insurance protects your laptop against unforeseen accidents。”再充分的去多解释一下，因为 Bobby 想要多了解一点嘛。Bobby 前面说了 ：“Can you elaborate on that？” 当我们请别人 ，Can you elaborate on something 的时候，其实就请他多说明一点。好，那他就说明啦 ，Protects your laptop against unforeseen accidents。那所以，请同学特别注意的是，我们的词语搭配，它能够呢，让你的笔电之后，如果发生一些没有预期到的意外的时候呢，是有些保障的。好，那接下来。就说了，那这样子的保险有哪些功能呢 ？This reduces or eliminates most maintenance costs. 好，所以我们知道说维修是需要花费的 maintenance costs。那可以降低，因为你买了保险，所以呢，保险会有部分的给付。那甚至于呢，有一些可能呢，一毛钱都不用自己出。好，所以 eliminate 指的呢，就是完完全全的消除掉。那比方说，像呃，近期呢，在武汉肺炎疫情之后，很多国家都面临了很严重的通货膨胀的问题。那很多国家就会寄出一些政策，希望能够呢打消这些通货膨胀的现象。所以，我们就会说 ，a policy that would eliminate inflation。那当然，这政府最希望呢，能够把通货膨胀压制到可以接受的程度。好，接下来我们往后看 ，the coverage includes， 请同学把这个 coverage 画起来，要特别注意哦。这个 coverage 所指的就是给付的范围，保险给付的范围，包括后面的这些事情。再接着，请同学看到 w i n n i e 他进一步的跟客人说。这个价格呢，其实是非常合理的，也所指的价格不是电脑，而是指保险。在额外加购的这些保固，它的价格呢是非常合理的，一个月就只要五百块。But if you commit to one year of insurance and pay upfront， 好是什么意思啊？就是说，希望呢 ，Bobby 可以考虑一次呢就购买一年份。哦，一年份的保险，而且 pay up front。什么是 pay up front 呢？就事先都先预缴好 ，pay up front。好，那 Bobby 听了以后，他觉得哎，很划算。That's quite a bargain. That's quite a bargain. 好，就是这么说的，很划算。那这个 Bobby 也算是一个很精明的客人，他没有一时冲动。就马上掏出钱来买。他说 ，Let me think about it and get back to you。我再回去想想。Let me think about it and get back to you。好，那 w i n n i e 果然是一个超级业务员。Just don't take too long to consider the offer。不要想太久。I hate to see you miss out on this fantastic deal。我实在不想要看你错过这个难得的优惠。好，以上就是我们针对多一课程 Day One 的讲解。谢谢大家。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.
Okay, everybody, welcome back. We're going to continue with our lesson, and we're going to talk about something called discourse markers, which are words that you use for transitions in conversation when you want to、uh, interrupt an uncomfortable silence, or if you simply want to change the subject,、yeah. you can use these words. Like in our conversation, Winnie says, "Well, you've come to the right place," so she wants to kind of、uh, get Bobby ready for her sales pitch.、Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she uses the word "well."、Uh, you've come to the right place, and then therefore they can continue their conversation uh, uh, regarding insurance. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these discourse markers.、Uh, number one would be this sentence: "Donny said he's quitting, and that's causing stress at my office." But anyway. What's new at your workplace? So this is obviously part of a dialogue.、Uh, at least two or more people are talking, but、uh, this person first shares what's going on at their own office.、It、can be stressful when someone says he's quitting, especially if it's someone. Who does a lot of work at that company, and somebody else has to pick up the slack. But in order to get off that subject and maybe let your、uh, your partner or the person you're you're having the dialogue with get a chance to say something, you could do this. But anyway, what's new at your workplace? So it's just a way to transition or change the flow of the conversation. You can say just anyway as well. Anyway, what's new with you?、Uh, yes, sorry, I did not、uh, answer your call. But anyway,、uh, what I wanted to talk to you about was blah blah blah. So that's kind of a transition word there, and it is quite common. Now the second one here is so. Okay, so that is something that you can use to fill the space and、uh, get on to another subject. So, so I heard you need to buy a new laptop. What happened? Okay, so maybe you were talking. Talking about something else, and you said, "Well, okay, so、uh, what happened to your laptop?" And、uh, these things can happen sometimes. Oh yeah, so you'll hear us use "so" a lot, right? So I heard you need to buy a new laptop. So maybe you're changing once again, changing the flow or, or the direction of the conversation. So I heard you need to buy a new laptop. What happened? You want the gossip? Uh, that's another discourse marker, and the third. Well, new laptops are great, but used ones are cheaper.、Uh, maybe you disagree with the opinion that somebody else、uh, put forth, so you go, "Well, new laptops are great." You kind of want to agree with them, but you also want to give your own opinion. But used ones are cheaper, so those are some discourse markers or transition words. Moving on to the discussion question. Tom, would you purchase laptop insurance, and then explain your answer? Well, yeah.、Uh, yeah, I think I would consider laptop insurance if I bought a laptop computer and if it protects me against Trojans or ransomware. But I don't think they will because ransomware can be quite expensive. I don't think any insurance companies would be willing to、uh, cover you for that. Yeah, How about you? Yeah, I don't know if they would.、Um, I don't take my laptop out of my house much anymore. I used to teach business English, and I would go to different corporations. And at that point, yeah, maybe. But like I said, I buy the cheapest laptop possible,、mm. and then I just use it for a year, and then you kind of dump it. I keep the hard drive and move on. But、uh, yeah, now that.、Uh, Computers aren't quite as cheap anymore, are they? So I might, I might have to buy some insurance in the future. We hope this gave you some ideas, guys. We're not done talking about this particular topic. In day two, we're also going to be talking about laptop insurance. Is it right for you? We hope you'll join us then. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.